So I was searching the internet and I found that these were supposedly the most comfortable shoes in the world. And they're not Adidas Ultra Boost, so I had to check them out for myself and see what all the buzz was about. Wanted to bring you guys my detailed review of the All Birds Runner. So you can see from the box, it says All Birds on it, and this is the Wool Runner. Really innovative sort of looking box, as you can see when you pull it open. It has a little bit of a landscape on it. And then inside you could see that it has, we are all birds, and then it has two little feet by a city and an arms. It's kind of crazy. But then these flip open and you can see the shoes inside. All right, so you can see on this side over here, it says introducing the wool runners. And then it says designed in New Zealand and it's made from super fine NZ Merino wool and textile knitted in Italy and then assembled in Korea. No socks required for seeing the world, not running marathons. Machine wash on wool cycle and then air dry. Then it has the all birds thing here. You pull it out and you can see the shoes inside. And then it has a little graphic on the bottom. And then it says, better shoes in a better way. And all birds, peace. So now that we have the wool runners out, we can take a look at these. And just so you guys know, this is not a paid promo. I didn't get paid to wear these shoes. I bought these shoes because I was very, very curious about them. If you think most comfortable shoe in the world, would you really think of a wool runner? I mean, for real, like this to me was the craziest idea ever. And the fact that they were called the most comfortable shoes in the world, I'm like, get out of here. Like really, I get it if they're, they're gonna be the most comfortable for winter time because obviously wool is really, really warm. And, um, and traditionally it's not very breathable. So I was like, I was very skeptical getting these, but then I actually, I put on a brand new pair of sneakers and I won't name the brand, but I had a brand new pair of sneakers and I put them on my feet and they're decent. Then I got these out of the box and I put them on and I was actually really pleasantly surprised. Crazy comfortable when you put them on. Like it's just such a really free, liberating feeling. And the whole entire upper is very, very minimalistic. So. The fact that it's all kind of like one piece sewn together on the back section right there, but all in all, it's like it's one upper and then you have the tongue, but it's really quite a comfortable shoe and it definitely reminded me of like the Nike Roshi run. So if you had to compare it to a pair of shoes, the Roshi run would be the one that I would probably compare this to. If you want something on the business casual side of things and Roshi runs are too athletic, then these are a great alternative for those people that work in an office, a desk job and whatnot in the city. These are something you could wear and walk around in. It's not obviously for running necessarily, even though it's called a runner, but it's a really, it's quite a comfortable shoe. I have to say, I was actually impressed with what uh, we ended up getting. So just a little bit of history behind the brand, if you guys wanted to know. It says the Allbirds is wool from New Zealand and a mill outside of Milan, Italy. The results are an incredibly comfortable fit, which stretches out a bit after a few days. So basically this company came from a Kickstarter. 2014, it raised over 100,000 towards a company from an ex-soccer player named Brown. Because of the success of the Kickstarter, Brown had to get serious about finding the supply chain and manufacturing these sneakers. So after the Kickstarter, they raised $2.7 million in venture capital. And then their very first sneaker came around in I think 2015, which is this shoe right here, the Wool Runner. As we mentioned, it's made out of a super fine merino wool upper and the sole is of rubber and foam polymer. So the secret to creating the most comfortable shoes you've ever set foot in is harnessing the incredible properties of our planets natural materials such as New Zealand's super fine merino wool. So one of the goals that they had when creating these was to be more contemporary than the Chuck Taylors, but more affordable than the common projects. So after wearing these for a week, I wanted to give you guys a full review of these shoes and let you guys know my thoughts on the wool runners. So there's actually quite a bit of pros about the shoe that I wanted to mention first before I get into the cons. Because there's not too much structure on the upper, it really reminds you of something like a Roshi run. There's definitely a very free and liberating feeling when you put these on your feet, which makes these things actually really good for casual wear. Another plus is you can actually wear these sockless. You don't have to wear socks with them and they are quite comfortable. I personally think the style of these are actually really nice. It's not really geared towards sneakerheads. It's more towards just mainstream sort of individuals in the tech space maybe or whatever it might be, but it's something that's not necessarily sneakerhead centric. It's one of those shoes that are affordable at $95. For a normal person, that might be a lot of money that is buying a pair of the shoes. So 
they'll get the maximum amount of comfort for the price point. Because the design is so simple, there's no pinching or rubbing or anything like that on the shoe. It fits pretty well. I would recommend you go up a half a size. I'm normally a 9.5. I went with a size 10. Another plus is the material is really soft. Unless you're allergic to wool, it definitely has an appeal to it because of the softness of the upper. However, I would say that it gears more towards the winter time because again of the wool. Because of the blended material, it is pretty lightweight and it is breathable. It also wicks moisture away, which I thought was kind of interesting. Obviously it uses sustainable materials like wool and it has a small carbon footprint, which is also a big plus if you guys are into that sort of stuff. Along those same lines, they have a Soul for Souls partnership. So the pairs that get returned after 30 days that people don't decide to keep, Go to Soul to Souls for donation, which I think is pretty cool. The last pro on these, which is completely different than something like the Ultra Boost, which is the, the sole. Anytime you say you have a comfortable sneaker, the upper is only half the battle. The other part is the sole and the midsole. And how is it? And it's For me, this is actually pretty comfortable, but it's a different sort of comfort like the Ultra Boost. This is very firm. So it's padded on the inside a little bit, and you can see the insoles are a little bit fluffy here. And that is nice because that adds to the comfort of the shoe. But all in all, the midsole is actually quite firm and it actually works well. You don't always need an extra cushy pair of sneakers with the midsole that have too much responsiveness. All right, so it's not all sunshine and rainbows with this Allbirds brand. There are some cons and let's go ahead and get into them. Maybe it's a dumb thing to complain about, but I think it's funny that the thing is called Allbirds and the shoes are made out of 100% wool. So it's kind of like it should be called all wool instead, but... That's one of the things I thought was odd. Another con is the fact that it's not really a runner. They call it a runner. And if you actually ran in these, you'd have some sore feet because they're not running shoes. There's something you can walk comfortably in, I would say, but they're not what I would consider a runner. This shoe really reminds me more of like a casual dress shoe than a runner in my opinion, but you guys be the judge of that. One of the other cons is I have to say it does get warm on your feet. It says that these are breathable and it wicks moisture away, but honestly, I wore these on a treadmill for an hour with no socks on. My feet were sweaty, like there was no way around it. They were sweaty and it didn't feel like they were breathing. It felt hot and sweaty inside of a wool shoe, which is exactly what it was. So a uh, positive thing is when you take your shoe like off and then let your feet dry for a second, you put them back in and and they're pretty dry at that point. So they do dry really fast. But the other part that is odd to me is it says it absorbs odor. And I think it's just because of the natural part of what wool offers that it absorbs odor. But so maybe your foot might sweat, but it might not be smelly. I don't really know. It just didn't feel very comfortable to me. And I know I have other shoes that I could wear with a mesh upper that actually lets the ventilation through and my feet don't get near as sweaty as they did in these uh, when I walked on the treadmill for an hour. Another thing is they had very limited styles and colors, not very many options on the soles and the uppers. They do have a new slip-on now as well, but I definitely like the runner look better than the slip-on one. They just didn't have very many colors to choose from. Obviously, if you're allergic to wool, these are gonna be a big con. You don't wanna get these. This is definitely the biggest con of the shoes. You can see the pilling on the wool is pretty bad. Um, and that's just from wearing it for a week. I mean, you don't want little floaties like this on your inside your shoe. So you can see here the pilling around the collar is pretty bad. And it's not an ideal sort of thing to have on your shoes. I imagine when you wash these, it probably pills even more. So that is definitely a con. And that's just a side effect of having natural ingredients like wool versus like a leather lined shoe that doesn't have that sort of effect. But that's definitely something to consider about these shoes if you want to have that happen or not. If when I mention the most comfortable sneaker in the world, you don't think of these, you usually think about these, the Adidas Ultra Boost, because of this crazy pillowy midsole matched with this really breathable mesh prime knit upper. These things are definitely a, uh, a delight to put on your feet if you haven't tried them yet. But their price point is pretty expensive at 180 virtually near half of that. And you have something completely different, but in a completely different realm of comfort. So which is the most comfortable pair of sneakers out of the two? The Allbirds Runner or the Adidas Ultra Boost? It's pretty much not even fair to compare these because this is obviously a premium running shoe that retails 180 This is a nice attempt to... Um, bring a shoe to market at $95, affordable, and you get something that's fairly comfortable, but it's not made for all occasions. The Ultra Boost, you can actually run in, you can actually wear those casually, and you can stand and DJ in them like I do for eight hours and you still like have like a refreshing feeling on your feet. These I think are good, but they're, and they're worth the $95, but they're no way near the most comfortable shoe in the world. And that's just my two cents. Leave some comments in the comment section. What do you guys think about the Allbirds Wool Runners? Do you guys think that these deserve the title of the world's most comfortable shoes or not? 
I personally know that the Ultra Boost is better for my feet, but everybody's feet are different and everybody's pockets are different as well. So um, anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. It's fun to be able to do just something a little bit different for you guys and review something that the other industries have been talking about, but I figured I haven't seen anybody in the sneaker community actually pull a review on these yet. So I thought it'd be fun to give it a try. And if you guys like that I tried this, hit the thumbs up button, show you guys the support on the video, much appreciated. And if you have other future suggestions for videos similar to these or other shoes that you'd like me to give a try, Leave a comment in the comment section and we will uh, check it out. Thank you all for watching. Have a good rest of the day. Peace, guys.